Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be sharing how to create this really cute and trendy hand-painted nail design over my already applied nail extensions. So let's get right into the video. All right, so here I am starting off with my cleaned and prepped nail extensions that I did in a video a little bit back on my channel. And I'm going to start off with a layer of my Madame Glam Soak Off Base Gel. This is just going to provide a nice surface for the gel polish I am going to apply in a little bit. So I'm doing a nice thin layer of this over my nails and then curing for 30 seconds once I'm happy with the application. Then I decided that I wanted the base of my nails to be a little bit more of a pinky tone instead of a cool neutral. So I'm using India by Madame Glam, which is one of their rubber base gels. It's just a thicker consistency of gel. And I'm doing one coat of this over all of my nails to really bring out that pink tone. This is a pretty sheer color and you don't get much of a difference with one coat, but it was just what I was looking for and I really enjoyed this color. So like I said, I'm doing one thin layer of this over all of my nails and then once again I'm going to cure for 30 seconds once I'm happy with the application. So this is the picture I saw on Instagram, it's by Style by Cambria. So all credit goes to her, I was very inspired by her manicure and wanted to recreate it. And I'm specifically going to be using all of my double dip gel art liners. So these are gel polishes that have a super thin brush that are really great for painting on designs like this. So I'm starting off with the shade 4, which is sort of an orangey red color, this one is absolutely stunning. And the first design is that yin and yang look. So I'm taking that orangey red polish and I'm just painting on a curved line down the middle of the nail. And then I'm going to be filling in the left side with the gel polish color. And the other side is going to remain sort of a negative space look. So I'm just going to carefully paint around the cuticle area and side edge of my nail and then uh, fill that in as well to make sure it is nice and even. Now, I knew that I specifically wanted to use these gel polishes from Double Dip because of their opacity. They are super opaque and only need one coat, which is really great when you're doing a hand-painted nail look like this one. So I definitely recommend you check these out. As always, I will leave everything linked in my description so you can easily access them. And like I said, these are just perfect for this sort of technique. Um, you can also use nail polish for hand painted designs like this, but I find that gel polish is just a lot easier. So here I'm taking the shade 1, which is just a standard white gel polish, and I'm going to be painting on a small dot on the red side, and as you saw I did the red dot on the negative space side. So that is that nail look all complete. And now I'm moving on to my middle nail. So this nail had the white flames with the sort of orangey yellow outline. Um, this nail was probably the hardest to paint just because I find that I have a really hard time painting the flames. They never look the exact same as they do in the picture, but I thought that this nail turned out pretty cute as well. So I'm just starting off with the four main flame lines and I'm just going to thicken those up in areas where I think it needs it and then connect them at the bottom.
then once I'm happy with the white, I'm going to cure that for 30 seconds. And here I'm using shade 5, this is sort of a bright orangey yellow color. And I'm going to outline the white. Now I find it's really important to cure each color before you switch colors, that way they don't mix and the gel design is set in place. Um, so it's really important to do that step. And then of course you can just see me here, I'm going along the white edges to outline them and this really brings out that flame design and adds a little bit more dimension. So I definitely liked this step of the snail. So I'm going to finish up doing the orange and then once again I will cure once I'm happy with the design. Alright, so the next nail is sort of a checkered pattern, and I'm going to be using the shade 8, which is this gorgeous medium blue color, and I'm going to actually mix this with a little bit of white to get it to be a lighter blue shade. Now, I think this color blue is absolutely stunning, but the color that was used in the inspiration photo was definitely more of like a light blue. I wanted like a little bit darker than light blue, but uh, lighter than medium blue. I know that's kind of confusing. But I think the shade I ended up working with was really pretty. So I just continued to mix the blue and white gel polishes to get the color I was going for. And once I was happy, I started painting on my nail. So I'm first starting by off-centering the first line just because I didn't want the nail to look like super perfect. So I actually did the design a little bit off-center which I think ended up working out really well. And I'm doing three vertical lines on my nail and then I'm going to paint short little horizontal lines to create the checker boxes. Now I could try and explain this to you but I think it's a little bit easier if you just watch what I'm doing. So I paint in the little squares and then just fill them in and then I go over to the next column and do the same thing where I left off with the bottom line and I sort of just keep going down painting the boxes and leaving the negative space and I think it looked really good. I honestly thought that this nail was going to be the hardest but since it is just straight lines I really didn't have too much difficulty with this one. So I will let you guys watch me finish up this blue and then I will come back for the next step. Originally, I was just going to keep the blue checker boxes as is, but then I thought that they needed a little bit of white since all of the other nails incorporated some sort of white. So I'm just outlining the boxes here with some vertical and horizontal lines. And I honestly think this pulled this nail really uh, well together. Uh, I think it looks a lot better and the lines are a little bit more crisp. So you don't necessarily have to do this step, I just think it made the nail really come together nicely. And now for the last nail, I'm using shade 1, which is this gorgeous medium hot pink color. 
and I'm going to paint some squiggly lines on my nail. I think this one was probably the easiest nail besides maybe the thumb. Um, I'm just taking one line and curving it from the sidewalls of my nail through the middle part. So it kind of just looks like a snake almost. And I think this nail could have had a little bit more potential if I added some white into the pink. I think the pink was maybe just a little bit too dark and I didn't end up changing it, but I still think it turned out really cute and was a nice addition to this manicure. So I'm going to keep on painting this line and once again, when I'm happy with the application, I'm going to cure for 30 seconds. Alright, and now moving on to the final nail, which is the thumb, I'm going to paint on some really dainty white flowers. So these flowers are just a combination of three short little lines and then a dot in the center. This is a super easy design and I almost want to do a manicure just fully of these flowers because they are so cute. Um, but basically, I just did three entire flowers on the nail and then I did two sort of like going off the edges of my nail which I think is really important to make sure the nail design is really tied together and then I cured that white gel polish and once I cured I went ahead and added little pink dots in the center just to tie that pink in from the pinky into the thumb. And now, once all of the designs on my nails are cured, I'm going to seal them in with my Madame Glam No Wipe Gel Top Coat. This is a super important step because you want your gel polish to really get sealed in on the nails, and this also adds a nice, beautiful shine. So I'm doing a thin, even layer over all of my nails, and finally curing one more time for 30 seconds in my LED lamp. Once the nails are fully cured, I'm going to rehydrate my skin and nails using my Happy Cuticle Co. oil. And here is the finished manicure I was able to create using some hand painted designs and the double dip gel polishes. I absolutely love how these nails came out. They are so fun and I really haven't done a super detailed nail look in a while so this was super exciting. And I think the final look turned out very pretty. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe down below, and I will see you in the next one.